Hey guys and welcome to this new YouTube video. Today I got some brand new LEGO news for you, including May the Force information, Harry Potter set information, and some brand new Sonic sets. So for now, let's go. So you will have you have an overview what you will have at special actions or uh, giveaways at the LEGO stores May the 4th and first we start off with double VIP points on all LEGO store set so every LEGO store set you buy at LEGO at May the 4th you get double VIP points on of course not at other sets from other themes but pretty nice I think then we also have this little Death Star giveaway pretty cool is that you also have these 40 years and with the weed tile with it and then we also have this little compass here yeah it's cool but i don't when i want to collect lego i don't want some other weird stuff then we also have this x-wing starfighter poly bag but when you compare to the other things we got so far at may the fourth the other poly bags it's just awful i mean we got the last farm family homestead kitchen which was really great so ah. I don't know, uh, but then we also get some posters, yeah, nothing special, but it's okay. And now the sets which will release at May the 4th, and my short opinion to them. At first we have the UCS X-Wing Starfighter, looks at all pretty nice, the best UCS X-Wing Starfighter of course, but I do not think we need another UCS X-Wing Starfighter. Then the Executor Super Star Destroyer, looks pretty cool. But um, it's pretty overpriced in my opinion. Then we also have the two diorama sets. One is pretty great. The other one is so overpriced. And then we also have this Brickheads 5 pack. Some really cool Brickheads. Some awful ones. Like in every Brickhead double or 5 pack. And from Star Wars let's switch over to Harry Potter at first you have a new Lego Harry Potter book including a Rita Kim Kong minifigure that's pretty nice in my opinion cause when you buy a Lego book you're a really hardcore fan and then you also want a really special minifigure and not just a new Harry Potter one inside we have some information about nice um Lego Harry Potter characters, minifigures, some pictures about them in which sets they are, how they look, uh, pretty nice and informative and also some information about sets. So then we also got some information about the new Lego idea set called the new review phase started. At first for example here we have why you look so beautiful from One Republic. A set to the music video, then also a set to Harry's house from Harry Styles, best musician ever. Then also the Adams family, the SpongeBob houses here, also pretty nice, many people wished. Then a Brickling color table could be just great and useful. And a set to Wednesday, I would really appreciate when they would release this. But when you want to see all the ide LEGO idea sets, then just subscribe to my channel because at Tuesday and Thursday I'm gonna show you all the 64 sets. So then we also got the newest LEGO theme, LEGO Dreams. It's a new animation series, so we already got some leaks from the teaser trailers. Everything is just like in a dreaming world uh, with some animals, and we also got some prizes and parts already i can show you for example one set the biggest set includes 1400 points and costs 140 dollars and the smallest one released for 21 dollars and includes uh, 260 points so then let's just switch back to harry potter with some new set information at first with some brick head double packs um, at first, Cho Chang and Harry Potter, Draco Malfoy and Cedric Diggory, and Kingsley Shackerbolt and Nymphador songs. Some really weird mixes, so Cedric and Malfoy, but also some new characters could be really interesting. Then we also will get the fight uh, for Hogwarts, the final battle, something I really wished for a long time, including 730 pieces. Seven Minifix, Harry Potter, Voldemort, Professor McGonagall, Bellatrix, Lestrange, Molly Weasley, Neville Longbottom, and Scabia. I think this can be a great set, but 
eighty-five dollars for this. It's just overpriced again. Next, we get the Hogwarts Quidditch bag, including five hundred ninety-nine pieces, not six hundred five hundred ninety-nine for seventy dollars. Really overpriced again. It's quite like the Hogwarts bag we got so far. It includes four minifigs. Every minifig belongs to a different house, so you can play Quidditch with it. I didn't really like the bag before, just cause of the price, and same will it be here, cause I think the idea is pretty nice. Next set is Expectum Patronum, including 750 pieces for $70, um, a 2-in-1 build where you can build Harry's or Lupin's Patronus, where Lupin are as minifigures inside. I don't really like this buildable big stuff like Harry and Hermione we got already. Uh, also, I don't like the idea to have a huge buildable Dobby. Just why I don't need something like this. The buildable Groot was great, Dobby will be awful. And next set also shows that LEGO has no good ideas. They want to make the Weasley Wizard Wheeze for $90 with 834 pieces. Just why we already got this set in the Diagon Alley. Yeah, of course, not everybody can afford this. I also not have it. But it just doesn't make sense to bring nearly the sh same shop in the same scale in a single set. That's just stupid. Then also some people say they will make a Hogsmeade train station. I don't know why they should do this cause it's not important in the movie and just would be stupid. Then we maybe get a D to see Gringotts. But I don't believe in Lego. I don't think they will make what the fans want. And then we maybe will get another micro scale Hogwarts. <laughs> just why? We got already one. And so for that, but I'm really the last person who doesn't like Lego. I paid so overpriced priced for Lego sets just to get them, but these Lego set news are just awful. And next we get some really good Lego play sets, the Sonic the Hedgehog sets. These are not the greatest sets ever, but just good sets. For example, this year for $30, including 300 parts, with this nice function you press that button and then Sonic in his ball shoots out of it. It's a really nice playset with a great new play function. I didn't test it already, but when it really works, kids can be really much fun with it. Then we also get Tails Tornado Plane um, for $42, including $380, also an okay price with a okay plane uh, and this little house here yeah not the best set out of the line but also it's okay and then we get amy's animal rescue temple um, i think this this looks this looks really bad uh, i don't know i don't see any cool play functions here any cool minifix i don't know that isn't my set but then we came, come to the last set, Sonic's Looping Challenge in the Green Hill Zone. And that looks pretty nice. You will also have this press button function. What is really cool, I, I really hope that works. Then it can be really nice also with a looping wing here and some other stuff to the Sonic movie. It released for $104. Including 802 pieces. This this is overpriced, but they are also these big looping pieces included. So I hope the function works. Then it's a really cool set. And you also have a new Lego Ninjago book. I just show you this to put it on the thumbnail. Inside we have a new Lord minifigure and some information about all the new Ninjago sets. So for now, I hope you like this video. Please like and subscribe for more Lego content. Bye.